Hello YouTube, today is April 13th, uh, 2015 and the topic is uh, police violence slash programming slash my memories from Yugoslavia. Something just happened this morning and I have to talk about this topic because I see pattern repeating again and it's beautiful when you have 40 years and ability to remember and analyze your life. So, now in states, not only in states, we see patterns. First, police brutality. So, police is targeting one ethnic or racial group. Okay, so this is thing what was happening in Yugoslavia in the 80s before the war. Police force in that time, Socialist Republic of Croatia was 60%, 67% ethnic Serbs. <coughs> and 12% ethnic Serbs, and 12% Serbs in total population in Croatia at that time, <coughs> but they formed 67% of total police force. And uh, this was the time when system or the Illuminati was preparing the uh, civil war. So how to prepare civil war? So, simply speaking, policy being launched of the police violence. And uh, we had like three police officers with Kalashnikovs marching during the night in the street in the 80s. We had situations that it was very normal. It was normal behavior that if they don't like your face on the street, they pick you up and they wrap you up in the police station. Different ways of torture. Um, but it was a common behavior. We simply lived under that. You know what I mean? And, uh, it was something completely inherited in you to simply be afraid of a police officer when you see one on the street. And then, uh, when I was 13, it was in 1989, I was with a group of teenagers. I was uh, turning 14, and we've been hanging out in a kindergarten close to my building. We've been staying there till 10 p.m. and drinking Coca-Cola, smoking our first cigarette. Kids uh, up to 15 years old, boys and girls, 15 of us, roughly up to 20. It was summer, and we became hanging out. Good kids. We knew nothing of the sex, drugs, and alcohol period. Um, maybe 15 year olds, first one relationship, making out big things. <coughs> so, one day, police comes, simply takes me. I find something is weird, so I stop going. On there. A couple of days after that, police van comes, picks up the kids, picks up all, all the kids, and in police station, divides them into two groups. One group serves, serves and Croats with, uh, you know, mama, papa, party members, or doctors, that means untouchables. In Yugoslavia, we've been divided into groups, touchables and untouchables. <laughs> so, untouchables first go. And they don't, <coughs> they don't uh, beat people, they see immediately they are. So they <coughs> beating them can cause immediate problems. So you don't beat the people of high up class and doctors, and you don't beat, you know, people, party members. But you beat working class and majority. So, the majority stayed. And Yadro, Yadro was, uh, he was 14. He was a friend of mine from the neighborhood. Uh, they kept him because his father is Croatian and he works in the shipyard. <laughs> where, your, where your mother is working, she's doctor. Okay, go left. You, your father, name, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, where he works, shipyard, yeah, today. So, and then they took him in a room and they offered him two newspapers. One was Borba, which was official communist uh, newspaper from Belgrade, from Cyrillic. And, uh, and this is the capital of Serbia and Yugoslavia. And another one was Madina, which was only liberal at the time newspaper, the liberal Illuminati program, which was completely opposite. Criticizing JNA and criticizing uh, oppression on Albanians in Kosovo and so on. So, uh, they offered him two newspapers. Remember, he's 14. Which one you want to pick? Of course, he picked up Borba on Cyrillic. <laughs> because he is in the Cyrillic Serbian police station in Rish, my hometown, 50, uh, 50 miles from Trieste, Italy, roughly. <laughs> and, uh, and then they, they took those newspapers from the water and started beating him with a 14-year-old. So what happens when you 
program the whole generation of people in one city, in one nation. Okay, we are this ethnicity, we are beating you because you belong to another ethnicity. Then you just need uh, some other triggers, and then you have a then you have a war. So let me go back to this beating emotional uh, part, which I see uh, repeating elsewhere. And this is exactly it. so. But now, of course, they just start immediately hating the the ethnicity and the class and the race of those who the first. Therefore, when you see a next white guy, you might project hate on me. But uh, there is also another element because there are so many other elements of control how we've been targeted. There is another element called gangs. So don't forget, all gangs are Illuminati control. They are simply uh, the all to go, legit but unlegit in the paperwork, businesses on the ground, where they do very important part of the social control. Who controls the street is who controls the city. And if, the, if gangs are deciding who's going to walk that area, that means they control the area. So then you have racial gangs, which are doing exactly police business on the other side. Exactly that. And then they target each other. Uh, you know, Latino gangs uh, shooting the uh, uh, black people, black gangs shooting Latino people, which is exactly that, exactly. So you have then in, in states you have that mechanism, and in Yugoslavia that came later on. That came later on, but it quickly escalated into war. Uh, so you know, every every territory, every group has its own dynamic, how it needs to be done. So this is in your case. So it simply helps to understand. Then, if in if in your society, the parents then one ethnic group is uh, dominating other ethnic groups, trust me, this is simply because it's been set up like this. Uh, another remote example for you, but historically correct, is the region of Strijem, uh, very close to Belgrade. After the fall of Yugoslavia in the Second World War, it became part of a massive part of the state of Croatia, which was the Nazi run, of course. And their death squad, started in the vicinity of Belgrade, uh, started to uh, uh, exterminate Serbs and Serbian villages. So, how it goes with the Illuminati wars, one side always wins, and in that area, later on during the, after the war, the partisans and Serbs executed thousands of Croatian civilians. So this is, if you observe these things from the duality point of view, let's say, if I were a dualist, I would see myself as a Croat, not only in paperwork, but in place. This place, I see it as a church. And you see people living there, some people programmed to believe that they are Croats, some people programmed to believe that they are Serbs. Souls come and enter the program. Then, war starts <coughs> as a in the wider area, and then you have phases of wiping out. <coughs> First, we're gonna spare you for while we're wiping out these guys first, and then while we're wiping out these guys first, and controlling first, at the same time, gathering that anger against Crud. Now, in the second day, we're gonna do the same thing, because what we need is more death and suffering, and this is all theater of war. So, in, in your case, it's going to be like this, definitely. As in case, with have many, many, many conflicts. First, uh, one ethnic group led, led by the Illuminati going to do horrible massacres, massacres in the area. Uh, that's all going to be filmed and publicly spread. And then, then other group will respond, also led by the Illuminati and by our people from other area of that ethnicity, and so on. So, uh, this is the game, and this is called the war. This is why in the war you have always stop, go, stop, go, you know, armies in both in wars and so this is the, so many times. They have initiative, they can enter a town, they can take the whole area, enemy is big, either retreating, but command is other to stay, stay, stop, you know, they, they not even take that easy. <laughs> because it's not part of the game. When they say defense, it's defensive. When they say they're retreating from the whole area, and they stick to retreat from the whole area, and after this, who gives a shit what leaks into the media? It's a second place. Let's say.
Feta. 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 Because the another another little element of uh, the day. So I talked to the police. I already ended up in a, in a, in a civil war because one thing is to lead to another. When you have police brutality, sooner or later you want to have a civil war one forum or another, either political, left or right, or other ethnic or religious or mixed. <coughs> Combinations are many because divisions are many. So, yeah. So, just you know, for the last thing, <coughs> you know, if, if, if shit happens, and if you find yourself in a war, most important thing is actually not to kill anybody and save everybody you can. Because if your soul, after the war, this is just what you're going to remember. But if you kill or harm anybody, or if you take advantage of anybody simply because you could, you're going to feel like shit and you're going to carry in yourself that for the rest of your life and then you're probably going to commit suicide. Suicide, as many uh, veterans of war in Croatia, because they can't deal with that shit. System gave them only antidepressants and alcohol, and therefore, the result is suicide. So, uh, they could not solve their issues, obviously. So, this is the result of the length of suffering. So, put this in the end calculation. First, we have police brutality, gang control, gang brutality, which is pretty much one thing. Police brutality is gang They just have different uniforms and different rules of conduct. They do the same thing, they are very to control you. So, you have that, then you have ethnic or racial conflict, in your case, in state. And then after, after that, you have shifts of mental suffering. And then you have new grievances, because you remember family members and friends you lost. And of course, you don't give a shit about those who killed you. This is something you are proud of. But, you know, in, in a veteran case. But, uh, They suffer, and and new heroes get born, and new new statues get built, and the new role models, and then you continue. And then you just continue. So that's all about it. <coughs> about all that. So police, gangs, as you call war, racial war, and the mental suffering.